How's it going, buddy? And welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Noble. Now, uh, last episode, you know, I talked about how I was going to uh, buy, sell, and trade. At the end of the episode, which I did, I'm just coming back from uh, dropping off the last of my items. I think I got two bows I need to trade, but other than that, I dropped off pretty much everything. Uh, my inventory is very light in the uh, storage cabinet compared to everything else now. Uh, I have 5.4 thousand, but that's because I spent some money on buying some gear. Now, uh, I went ahead and bought, uh, what was it, the decorated arming uh, doublet thing, which was really good compared to what I had. Uh, let's see. I had this repaired. I've already had this. I'm wearing this uh, now. Uh, bought these simple plate pauldrons, which were like severely better than what I had. And the best of all that I bought, which was the most expensive, was the Nuremberg plates. Uh, as you can see, it takes up both the shoe and the leg compartment area. And uh, it says 1000 I think it was like 4000 when I bought it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is expensive. The armor didn't have enough money to, uh, as, as I showed in the last episode, he didn't have enough money to trade for some of these items. So I spent all my money that I was giving out, and I was like, okay, I'll take these in exchange kind of thing. So yeah, th this was my big investment right here. Th this, <laughs> I'm not sure if these are the best or I'm, I'm going to assume they're probably not the best. I mean, this is the very beginning of the game. I'm going to assume these are probably upper tier leg armor, but that's just an assumption right now. Matter of fact, I'm quite dirty after all this running around I've been doing. I actually need to wash off. But uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see by my gear, actually I forgot to arm my weapons. Uh... Yeah, I need to put this one, 47 versus 57, yeah. And we'll arm that, and that. And where's my arrows? We'll go with the uh, stolen arrows first. We'll get back stolen stuff, <laughs> one arrow at a time. I just saved it because I was like, I haven't been hit by one of these guys yet, but I'm still waiting for them to say, hey you, halt! Hi. I talked to one of the people that was apparently from our village, so I'm going to start talking to a few of these as I'm heading to the merchant to sell off the last of those bows. Uh, let's see. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. So That's what the other guy said. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Word for word what this other guy said, but at least you've heard it now. Sorry to interrupt, but it's... <laughs> interrupt. <laughs> she said they're begging. Sorry to interrupt. What? No, nothing. What did you hear? That you might have hidden... You heard wrong. There's nothing hidden anywhere. And you leave my man alone. Understand? As you wish. <laughs> God bless. Okay, um, I wasn't expecting that. Vagabond, he's probably not one of our villagers. I feel like the named one must be people from our village that he would know by name. How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastards. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Seems like, you know, his people don't ask him for money because they know, I guess know that he was the blacksmith's son and it's like, yeah, he's in the same boat as us. Even though I'm running around in expensive as hell armor <laughs> and stuff. Uh, Good day to you. Unfortunately, you this guy doesn't buy stolen gear. So, unlike the merchant in uh, Scallets. Actually, if I do this, I'll actually end up spending money. But hey, I need those saving schnapps. Woo! All right. Uh, it turns out the merchant, the tailor, even though I couldn't get my gear done because it was mostly stolen, apparently they won't even repair stolen stuff, which sucks, but it means they're running around in slightly raggedy clothing. Uh, since they won't repair it, you're kind of stuck with, uh, you know, whatever category. Once again, my spear is at 61 health. And that's a problem because I can't sharpen that myself, which means I gotta wait for that to disappear so I can actually sharpen it myself. Or, excuse me, not sharpen. Uh, have someone else sharpen it for me, I mean. 
and that just plain old sucks. So, uh, now you're just a beggar. I want to know if this is him or not. And he didn't really talk, cause I think, because he was sleepy at the time. But I want to know if this was actually the guy we knew. He's not there right now. Lockpick easy. I'm not going to lockpick and steal from a guy who's poor, you know? That'd be really cruel. Even I have standards. He's going to be... He must be up top begging then. All right. I got to find him because I want to know if that's actually him. Why is there a gold star on my map? What's ahead of me? Oh. Huh. Quest tips are unexplored place. Hmm. Those weren't there before. Hey, pupper. What happened to the dog that followed us? Remember there was a dog that was following us in that cart that was the butcher's wife's dog. Or butcher's dog. Did the butcher, uh, the butcher dog get sold off to somebody else? Paying tabs or whatever? I'm not officially breaking entering yet. That's you. Let's find out what you got to say. Good day to you. Good day to you. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? How should I now? Well, you had a star. I guess it's actually just a person who gives out random missions. It doesn't mean he actually has one, I guess. Kind of funny that he's like, how should I know? It's like, but you had the star. You're supposed to know. There he is. Is this... See you survived. Okay, it is him. Aren't you observant? <laughs> I just gave him money. You still owe me. Give it back. <laughs> you still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. And so, so are you. Kurnish, I will destroy you. Hmm. Eight's not very high. Now, when we're in the village, this would work. So let's see. Twenty is really high, though. You realize I could kill you without a moment thought. Any time I want to, you coward. Success. No, I, I can't take any more. <laughs> Fine. I, I basically put him in a coma what before. What am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you that forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. I, I've got expensive Not stolen you. gear on. I'm like, you owe me money, <laughs> homeless guy. I swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. It's funny, I still gave him money, though. When we were running from Scalex, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. By the way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Dove cut? Under a dove cut. And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cots could there be in Scalix? Eh. If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. I will. Fine. We'll see. So. I think we've pretty much unlocked everything but up here again. And we need to go here to go ahead and start the mission official. I was going to give you money, but the only person I actually asked for money was uh, Kurnish, who owes me money. It's weird. Nice wood castle. Wood stone. 
Hi guys! I'm here to help! What? Could that be the Smith's son, Hal? Oh, it's you guys! On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? Oh, you what guys are, you are dirty. For? These are the guys I think I tossed the money bag to when I ran off. They better still have my money. Going to see Sir Radzik. I was attacked by bandits and scallops. Bandits attacked me in scallops. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? Parents. I needed to bury my parents. It's like, oh. oh I see. <laughs> Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And well, that's why he was, nearly lost it. He was a good man. And you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. Technically, and the others did that. What would you have done at Scallops? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use his of it. His mom got the wrong end of that situation. He got stabbed. She got cut to pieces, basically. Uh. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. Ooh. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. Well, I got a no. spear. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. <laughs> you got your butt handed to you before by bandits. Good luck, buddy. You're going to need it. Oh. So, um, did any of you guys have knocked out before? Because, uh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, jeez, they're looking at me. Run away! Don't just shut the door on me. What's a townsman doing in the... Never mind. Maybe he serves the drinks. Very hard. A toilet that leads to the ground, just like they used to make. I don't think that's his room. This must not be the right place. I'm trying to find the knight's hall. Yeah, I don't think this is it. I think I went to the wrong building. If you can hang a big sign that says food's here, I'd like that a lot. Oh, jeez. A two-story toilet. <laughs> I went to the toilet and started the next mission. I was just like, Aah. oh, hi, Sir Isaac. Give me a second. Oh, gracious. <laughs> Tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. <laughs> I'm sitting on the toilet. He says we went in the shit. shit. Don't you agree? Oh my gosh, that couldn't have been better. Eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed, but Birchstein is yours for as long as you need it. Ah, oh, Bilbo. I will take that later if you don't mind. You here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Got two castles. Summer castle, winter castle. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. I mean, seriously, they, what, what else could they resolved? do? Their houses but are burned to the ground. What is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. Well, they gone wanted alone, them gone, gone and stole their money. Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit, he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for 
other pursuits. The booty. Need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, a I lot of people need money to do a lot of bad things. The king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why, in God's name, does he have to use those barbarians? Mercenaries. The root of all evil, young sir. Just as I was saying, Wars a minute are costly, ago. and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those four sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays. The more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. Hi, random citizen here. How you doing, folks? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at town. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzig. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother got stabbed a lot. Remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. <laughs> all my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. I was gonna say, he kinda left out the Robard <laughs> part. woman, hang on to that one, lad. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet. You, you just had to bring it down, didn't, didn't you? you? He's up here, and you dropped it down to here. A sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're <laughs> killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left <laughs> He's like, ah. That plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> One skeleton looks much like another. He's so kind of like, ugh. You know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I still feel like there's a story of his father everyone's just not telling us, you know? My subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. Woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? I had the horse originally. Please take me into your service. And but give the update seems to have lost things. that. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword. Puts a robot in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. <laughs> Capon's right. I and like this guy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Execution. Courage Aww. and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty. Perseverance and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Who said you can? Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> <laughs> the 
isn't father, he's a blacksmith, and recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would, and you won't regret it. <laughs> oh, you God. better not. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. Eh. It might. In any event, it will I feel like there's going to be like a year time yeah, lapse or let's something be here. Clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, I'm getting paid, right? See to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. In and cuffs or out of cuffs? Spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I'm sorry! He's just running off. <laughs> Everything just appeared. How are you doing? What the hell am I doing? You. It's forbidden to walk at night here without a light. Well, luckily I have a light, so... Is that better? Good. Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Uh, where is this training ground? Um, activity, activity. Ah, training ground. It's a little late at night for that, though. Let's go ahead and take a travel over there to the mill. Not to mention, I uh, took most of the money for myself from these merchants, so, uh, you know, not much cash left on them. I'll go ahead and show that uh, there's not much in the uh, chest anymore. All that armor and gear is pretty much almost non-existent. Got a few extra books, though. So we'll sleep and save. Wonderful. I just realized, can I open these windows? No, okay. I looked barred and I was like, I wonder if I can... Hey, there's actually food in these things again. And we're up to 94, sweet. And that worked out for me pretty well. And we're not dirty, so that's a good thing. Gotta get a horse, man. I'm getting tired of walking. <laughs> but uh, we'll walk and talk and uh, decide what we're going to do while we're getting back to the town. And I'll do the robberies in between episodes. By daybreak, we'll go talk to the uh, guy to get our training on. And we'll continue the episode from there. So uh, what I'm going to bring up is uh, in the drop down. It should have been in the last one, too. I forgot to mention it. Uh, for the month of April, I'm kind of, you know, trying to collect information for everybody that wants to participate. And uh, I'm going to leave in the drop down a list of games that I haven't quite finished. Uh, games that, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I quit playing. Whether it be uh, lack of interest that I felt that no one was given uh, for the particular episodes. Or the fact that I just felt like moving on to a different game. But there'll be a list of games that you can help decide whether or not I go back to. Now, mind you, I'm going to finish this game. I'm not going to quit uh, this game. I'm going to go all the way to the end screen with this, you know. But uh, other games like, for instance, uh, example, Stardew Valley. Uh, that's a game that I've gotten through the first year of, but I was kind of like, eh, I don't really know if people are interested in it that much. And this will give a chance if someone liked a particular uh, story, but I quit going and doing it, that you can actually ask to go back and have me finish it. And that'll be fun. Giving everybody a chance to uh, make a decision on how things go. So if you uh, see anything in that list you want to see me complete, let me know in the comments section by saying, Hey, uh, I would like to see you finish this game. And uh, by the end of April, I'll make the call on uh, what game, if any, if I get literally nothing, then I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. And I'll 
probably every year or so go back and uh, you know put it up a list and say, hey, how's everybody feeling about these games? Do you want to see this game or anything else? And we'll just uh, see if we go back and finish anything. But yeah, it's quite a few of them, so make sure you look at the drop down, see if anything catches your eye, if, you, if there's a particular series you watched, or maybe you haven't watched it, and it'll give you an idea of which ones are available, and maybe you want to see it finished uh, after you've done watching it yourself. But anyway, thank you everybody for coming to join. If you'd like to hit that like, subscribe, and like I said before, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Until next time, take care and be safe out there, everybody.